So what I'm working on today is putting a trailer jack on this little trailer that I built this past December as my winter project. I made it out of some parts from a Harbor Freight trailer. I managed to get one of those for free and the frame was pretty wrecked. So I kept the hitch and the springs, the axle and the tires, and then I uh, just built the frame and then attached everything to it. Um, when I got done with this trailer, my neighbor saw me using it and came over and said, oh, that's a pretty cute trailer. And that kind of hurt a little bit, but um, I'm sure I'll get over it. This trailer has served me pretty well. Uh, the one thing we do want to do with it, um, we haul wood and, and um, haul things out of our fire pit. We want to be able to detach it from our four-wheeler and then, you know, go ride the four-wheeler around and then at the end of the night pile all of our stuff back in there and um, run everything back up to the house. So we want to get the trailer jack on it and it'll make it a little bit more functional for what we want to do around our house. So the jack we're going to be installing is a little 2,000 pound trailer jack. I got this from Harbor Freight. It was about $25. It connects to the trailer by this little piece of metal. So what you do is you just weld this to the trailer at 90, you know, make sure these holes are, one of them's at least at 90 degrees. And then the hitch can move back and forth. It would be so easy just to weld this to the edge and then hook the jack to this. The issue we're gonna have is clearance. When you turn with a quad, you're gonna lose a lot of the clearance with a hitch, and that's gonna be an issue. I get a flat piece of metal. I'm gonna weld this to that flat piece of metal. The flat piece of metal will sit right here on the inside, and then we can mount our jack to that flat piece of metal, and that jack can move back and forth in the inside to where I have tons of room, and it won't get in the way of the quad tires. So we're going to need a piece of metal about two and three quarter inches. The way the structural steel is made, there's a little bit of a bevel up into the inside. And I want that piece of metal to fit just in the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut the length uh, two and three quarters. And then I'm going to make it, I'm going to grind it down just enough to get it to fit just inside flat. And then I'll go ahead and weld it in. We'll go ahead and make our mark at two and three quarters. I'm just gonna cut this with my grinder. You wanna be super careful whenever you're using these, especially if you're like me and you take the guards off as soon as you buy it. Um, I just like to see what I'm cutting. Make sure you use a face shield. So you, these things have blown apart and gone in people's faces before. So as I said before, we actually want this piece to fit just inside of this channel, which means I'm going to grind this down bit by bit until this fits just inside. So as you can see, the piece of metal that I cut fits inside the channel of the tongue of the trailer. I'm going to mount this piece of, to hold the jack to the piece of metal that I cut. And before I do that, I'm going to clean all this up really well. And this has some sort of galvanizing on it. And I'm going to go ahead and grind all this back down to bare metal. You don't want to weld through galvanizing as a galvanizing zinc and when you get it airborne it's really toxic. Go ahead and 
get our piece tacked up. piece welded I'm gonna go ahead and grind it a little bit to clean up some of the stuff um, I'm not a pipeline welder so I got a little a little messy here um, what do they say if you have to grind your welds you're not a welder you're a grinder I'm probably somewhere in the middle of those two Okay, we just want to go ahead and set this in here where it's still going to clear and that looks pretty good right there so we'll go about right where the paint ends is where we'll go ahead and tack it. Okay, I have this clamped up where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and tack it. Okay, still looks like about where I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and hold it on. All right, I got it cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some primer on it and then we'll throw the finished coat on. I know as this pivots around, it's gonna scrape some of the paint off, but any paint that gets scraped off still has the galvanizing underneath so it will be protected. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. So there's the up position. Looks like we won't need this anymore. I appreciate you watching this video. Consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos of me turning trash into treasure. And we have a few construction jobs coming up, which we'll also be filming. Thanks.